So I'm just putting on a little bit of a lizarding crimson all over this black canvas. And nobody will ever know, apart from me, and now you. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. <laughs> so today we're going to do an idea that I've had. This idea that sprung to me in my amazing creative brain. It is amazing. <laughs> So I'll tell you what it is. Um, what I want to do is have this really amazing, everything's amazing, amazing bland sky. Still amazing though. It's bland, but it's amazing. An amazing bit of water. Bland bit of water. But still amazing. And then we're going to put some rocks and stuff and the pills. The resistance. The item that will sell this painting for not 10 million, but 20 million. Sort of busy. It's going to be on the phone, I'm sure of it. They're going to want this painting, and they're going to want to put it on there. The millions. Millions and millions. <laughs> so what's on the rocks, did you ask? Do you ask that question? What's going to be on the rocks? You haven't told us that bit yet. Well, that is where the lighthouse is gonna go. Yes! So, let's get cracking, because I'm excited. I'm so excited, I've upgraded to a number six fan brush. So I'm gonna get some of this white. White, and I get some blue as well. How unusual. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods today, one of those moods. It's because I've got the painting going, that's why. That's what it is. I get excited, you see. So, um, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee. Got the sky quite low. Late. Late at night. It's only a smidgen of blue left. Take it to about there. See how you can just create that. Just a little bit of blue left there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's our horizon line. Now there's a reason why I'm not going any higher than this. Because I don't want any blue getting in to my light colour. So my light colour is going to be my yellow and white. So I don't want any of that in there. don't want it. But what I also don't want to do, now this is the other thing. Whoops. The other thing I don't want to do, which will be a problem, is if I put a different colour, say I didn't use the blue, say I thought, I want to do a sunset, yeah, grab all the, all the yellow and the red and make it really amazing, but then you put the lighthouse in and, well, it's just a extra, really, to the amazing sunset you put in. I think I'll talk and paint, otherwise, <laughs> I think I'll get done, will it? Let's be honest. I'm just going to put in a few indications of waves, really. La -di -di, la -di -di, la -di 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 it's good fun doing this, isn't it? You're just going whip, 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 whip. And you don't have to make the huge waves either. You can. No problem, is there? If you've watched a few of these. You can probably make some amazing waves that crash and smash and look awesome. But today, it's not about the sea. The sea is nothing to the lighthouse. 
today. It's all about the lighthouse, which is what I want it to be about. So this blue picks up the crimson and it gets it's a little bit darker. You get more lavendery sort of colour. And the further away from that light source, the less white and blue I want to put in it. Because I just want it to be nice and wavy. But soft and quiet as well. Quiet and soft. Maybe you don't want it to be as choppy as this. Maybe this is too choppy. Maybe it's not choppy enough. Sometimes the waves break like that. You don't always get like perfectly straight waves. In fact, <laughs> you barely get that really. They tend to come all over the place, don't they? So let's not have it too perfect. I don't want it to be too bad. I want to keep some of them though. Let's keep some there. I'll let that just sort of disappear over there. Just let that blend together. Stand back. Are we happy? Are we happy chappies? I'll put a little bit of blue there. Remember, do whatever you want to do. You don't, don't feel like you have to copy, you can change it. If you're a beginner, and you just want to follow along, then you can. You can do that as well. Then you can pause it and watch it again. See how masterful I am. <laughs> I'm always bigging myself up. You really have to, you know. I always find other people don't big you up as much as you can big you up yourself. I mean, you can really take it really far when you're bigging yourself up. <laughs> so what I'm getting is some yellow and white. thinking to myself, I want my lighthouse to be there, there. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> oh, it's there now, isn't it? And what I'm thinking, you know how the beam goes? I'm going to go just wipe my brush, go into some clean colour again, do another one. how it goes, crimsony. <laughs> it's magic, isn't it? In fact, this looks like a meteorite. <laughs> so maybe that's what you want to paint. If you want to paint a meteorite, and <laughs> So, we're not doing meteorites though. So I'm gonna get some of this blue and crimson. And Let's face it, if we do this all dark, well, let, let's just, just to prove the uh, great master's point. <laughs> uh, if we do this all dark, there's just nothing wrong with that, is there? Because it is dark. Just stand back, oh, I quite like that. Crimson and blue. I was going to say it's a mistake to do it all dark, but I've changed my mind now. 
No, I think it's fantastic. So I'm just putting the dark here, dark, dark, dark. Maybe it goes like that. You see, the lighthouse keeper, when he originally built his lighthouse, he had an old wooden one here. And he thought that was the best place to put it. Everyone told him it was a bad idea. But he thought it was the best place. And what happened? This big wave went while he was out. Luckily, he was out in the garden. It was up here. And uh, luckily, there he was up there, looking down at his lighthouse, thinking, uh, it's getting a bit choppy. I might have to uh, shut the window. <laughs> But unfortunately, the lighthouse keeper was too late. He wasn't down there shutting the window. He was up here watching it getting washed out to sea. <laughs> Poor lighthouse keeper. Luckily he wasn't in it though, so he survived. And uh, he built another one. The other one he found was a better place up here where his garden was. Let's pull a little bit of this dark in. Why not? Yeah, and he thought, I'm going to put it up here instead. I've got all this area, in fact. I'm protected by these little rocks that are also out here. They're like wave breakers for me. So I'm gonna be fine up here. And the uh just get rid of this. <laughs> dark in the water, why not? And the old, let's bring that together a bit. You know what I might do? <laughs> <laughs> might put a little bit of water up here. See, the waves and the splashes. And uh, yeah, after he decided, well, well that's it, I can't put it there, I'll put it up here. Because up here, yeah, the waves are no way going to get up here. No, not a chance. So I'm going to be safe. And not only that, it's better for the, the ships because when this spins all the way around, bloop, just using the detail now, it's a little bit smaller, it's got a bit more, well, it's better for detail. <laughs> Sorry about my arm, I'm just uh, cutting in a little roll of paint and then I'm going up this. Look at that tall lighthouse. That is, that is phenomenal. Might put a little bit of a roof on as well. Just use the other bit. Blip. Blip. Create a bit of a line. I'm to create a bit of a, uh, a bit more thickness to it. Yeah, then you can fit a spiral staircase in it. That's what I'm thinking, because he's got to get up there, hasn't he? 
might have a little room up there. If that light's going there as well, maybe we'll see something there and something there. Something like that. I, got, I was looking at a lighthouse recently. And guess what? There was two. <laughs> there was an old wooden one, just like the one that was used to be there. And then there was the new one, like this one. Now if you don't want your lighthouse to be dark and dull like mine, you can make it, you can put a light on or something. <laughs> More than the lighthouse, you could have like, what I mean is you could have the light coming from here a bit more and then it could be maybe highlighting one side. It's up to you, it depends on how dramatic you want it. But also, these lighthouses, they always have little uh, places for the keeper to live. This lighthouse is no different. The lighthouse keeper. He's a bit of a stud. Because he's uh, running the lighthouse. I might get a little bit of this blue. I just want to show you this. Because uh, you might think, oh, it would be quite good to have a bit of, a, a bit of blue highlight maybe there. at the bottom part there. Just a hint of that blue, this blue that's maybe on that rock. Maybe it's on that rock a bit. I want to keep it quite quiet though. Quite dark and quiet. But yeah, it's, this uh, lighthouse keeper, Ooh, I feel like a fence, a few fence posts coming along there. <laughs> Maybe he built himself a little bit of a, uh, a place to, a bit of deck in there, a bit of deck in. Maybe there's an old tree there as well. Maybe you can see these, it's really dark, <laughs> but the reason I'm keeping it dark there we go, let's get this tree in. It's a big tree. There's its trunk. And there's a few bushes at the base of it as well. Yeah, something like that. The road goes off there. More trees there. Maybe there's up pine trees or something. Who knows? Yeah, we want to put a little bit of a roof. So, I'll get some of this blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of a roof on. could just about see that. I don't want it to be uh, stood out. And uh, I'm not going to have any lights on in the house. Because if I put a light on in the house, then your eye is going to go to the light on in the house and not on the light house is light. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I think we could do more down here, don't you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone say it'd be quite good to have a ship. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? What if there's a boat? What if it's there? There's a boat. Maybe it's a one of these big cargo boats. Just an indication of one there. We don't know, maybe there's some antennas or something. We don't want too much detail, but there's a boat back there. We can put them in. Maybe in here. I want rocks. 
got more rocks sort of there. And there's a big rock there. The rock is in the water there. And it comes out like that. There's another rock. It's got a bit of a to it. See, we don't know where this, this is. We could be on the boat painting this. We don't know where this is. We, I mean, are we on, on a rock painting? Are we uh, on a boat painting? I mean, if we was on a boat painting, that'll mean we can make more mistakes where, where we're rocking on this boat, trying to get this really nice thing, and then we're like, oof! <laughs> <laughs> and then you could, uh, when you sell your painting, you could say, oh, I painted this while I was on the boat. That's, that's why that's a little bit um, not quite as good. <laughs> Got a bit of this dark in there. And we can use our uh, blue colour. Blue colour. Maybe it's just splashed up to there a little bit there. A little bit of that dark, so it is affecting things. And then uh, here as well, I think maybe the, maybe there's a splash of blue light there. <laughs> oh, why not? We can uh, sort of put that on there. We can do what we like. Remember that. Remember as a painter, we can do what we like, Shh, splash there. There we go, let's just have a look at that. Now what we can do, I like the idea of a, a hint, a hint of the blue, a hint of the blue just in there. Just a just a hint. Could even I might even darken that a little bit. That's better. Don't want it to be too bright. Maybe it's, there's a bit of wet on there. So put some of this. A little bit of that there. Pull some more of the dark on it. A bit of crimson and red. Just to darken it a little bit. Keep it quiet, remember. Maybe this this rock just getting a little bit of colour. Like both sides because it's uh, getting lit at a different angle from over there. Yeah, maybe that boat. Maybe that boat. Let's get some red and put that yellow. Like a really dull light. <laughs> it's the battle for light, you see. I still want it to be lighthouse, but I might put a little bit of light on this boat. <laughs> you 
You might not pick that up on camera, but there's a tiny, tiny bit of light. You know, I might, for fun. Maybe he's got an outside light there. Ooh. He has now. Maybe he's got one when he comes out and he can see his door. Just about he can see his door. But I still am not beating that light. You know, I've uh, gone on about it a little bit. But it's a important thing is when you're choosing your focus in your painting that you choose what it is and then don't overdo the rest of the painting otherwise the focus is gone. I might just load a bit of light on that tree. A bit of the blue light and on that one. Maybe very lightly. A little bit of indication of rocks and things coming down down there. So I'm stood here having a look. Do I want to do any more? There's one thing that I'm thinking is that there would be a rock here as well. There's a rock there. We can bring it into the painting again. So maybe there's a bit of water splashing up the side of it. Maybe here there was a bit of a uh, bit of water coming down there. Splash down. <laughs> Something like that. Kind of want a bit of dark there as well. Okay. So, what else would we see? I think you'd probably see a. I think you would see a bird. Crab. <laughs> you could see all sorts, couldn't you? You could do all kinds of little things. But I think on this one, I'm going to call this one finished. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope this has given you ideas, opened you up to ideas. I'm going to get a little bit of this yellowy red. I'm going to give it a little JB right in amongst this rock. B. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you ideas. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.